Well, it's uh, close to 8 o'clock in the morning. It's about 1 degree outside. Really cold. It took a long while for my car to warm up. It's still warming up. I'm going to meet up with Whitney, uh, the guy who commissioned me to do this Sagittarius. And uh, we'll break my studio. And then we're going to head to uh, Bozeman from there. Yes, people, I do get up early. <laughs> On occasion. That is perfect. I think so. Whitney's seeing his bronze for the first time. Wow. Uh, Lance, I mean, not, yeah, Lance is uh, finishing it off with uh, some grinding and and uh, smoothing, Beautiful. and then they're going to sandblast it one more time, oh, and uh, yeah, the back shot. then they'll yeah. color it, yeah. Totally Whitney great. doesn't get excited about things at all. Oh, man, look at that. That's <laughs> better than a sushi bar. <laughs> <laughs> what they're getting ready to do is put uh, a solution on it that turns the uh, bronze completely black, and that's the base coat of the acid that they have to well, yeah. uh, See what it's doing to the color yep. of the bronze? Love it already. So we'll get it black and then I rub back, rub the highlights, and then we can take it as dark as we want. You'll we'll see. Isn't that wild how it changes real quick? Love it. Yes, yeah, chemical reaction. And that's a cold chemical. You have to the sandblasting up. opened up the pores. Yeah. Just like wood. What that's what that's doing is uh, that's a cold patina, and then it'll put, do the heat up the bronze and start adding the uh, other uh, acids to give it the final color. Freaking wild! That's phenomenal. How it's like almost getting purple. Yeah, it almost got it. gets it like a bluish slate color, but it's all beautiful. Slate. Isn't it beautiful? It is beautiful. In all its glory, David. What a great collaboration, man. I finally got to work with you. I've been looking forward for 12 years. You've known each other for 12 years? Oh, 13. yeah. Oh, yeah. 13. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Nobody's <laughs> there. First time I met David, I was standing with a group of people that I had just met in downtown. Look at that. Now it's Burgundy. That kind of does. Wow! Keeps changing, though. There's all this color, and then we... That's, That's phenomenal. They've been doing this since the beginning of uh, doing bronzes. That's so sweet. Yeah, it's a liver of salt. Yeah, that, I, I'll bet you that's how they colored the first bronzes. Oh, yeah. Plus, this is real permanent. Like, you know, if you scrub off the highlights, all the recesses are dark. You can see your sculpting, and then you can seal it, and it'll pretty much just slowly yeah. weather. Yeah. That is too cool. Yeah, so David and uh, our computer buddy Zach and Ann and uh, another friend Cindy Rest of it, at an organic store and our friend Terry Freeman had a sort of a secondhand cowboy outfit and they were sitting outside and they had just known me like three or four hours. And this gal, this two gals pull up in this old beat up Toyota sedan. And uh, this in Ennis? This was in downtown Ennis, yeah, right towards the end of town. Yeah. And this gal just walks right up to me, and these guys are already getting a taste of what I'm really like. So, being the cosmic gesture that I am, I see this gal walking towards me, and the first thing out of her mouth is, you know what, I, Jesus came to me last night and said, you need to be saved. To you. You need to be saved. Yeah, me of all people, son of a minister. She picked me right out of the crowd. You're the son of a minister? Yeah, I got a target painted on my head. So she tells me, it's like, you need to come to Christ and be saved. He came to me last night and said, you need to be saved. And I said, what a remarkable coincidence. <laughs> Jesus Christ came to me last night, too. And he told me, you're full of shit. <laughs> He's never He's got these guys, these guys were laughing so hard. I thought they were going to get hurt. You're not going to match wits with Whitney. Whitney will take you every time. It's it's just, it's just but it's my job, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's my job, man. Hey, some you're people, a commentator on life. I am. I am. I'm a lot like Red Skelton, and um, well, not quite like not Red quite. Skelton. I'm not quite as good. <laughs> I, he's, he's a genius. 
The man was a genius. I met, I met him one time. I know. And he's just like, see that, I know that picture of you and him. Yeah, I know. He, uh, I, I wish I could, oh yeah, I got that in my studio. Yes, right? you do. You do indeed. Yeah, he, uh, we talked for quite a while about artwork. I mean, I that's, phenomenal. that's phenomenal. So now you're going to heat this guy up. Okay, heat it up, and then I, I use these wheels. And I'm going to polish these highlights back. And it's going to, you'll see, it'll be, get a lot brighter. But then we'll start adding on these traditional chemicals and darken it up as, as much as you want. Okay. But it brings out some of that. But I like up. that uh, more of a traditional a, a bronze looking bronze. Yep. That's what it's going to be. It, Beautiful. It, Not copper, but bronze. Yeah. So what I'll do when I start doing it, it'll look copper at first. And then you start adding. See, here's this traditional chemical called ferrous. So it's, so it's got iron in it. Fair. Yeah, it's it's a uh, cupric is copper. Yeah, this has got nitric acid. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the older bronze that I've seen. Go ahead. Uh, That's okay. I'll stand, David. Thank you. Uh, some of the older bronzes I've seen in, like, say, the uh, Huntington Museum in uh, Pasadena, uh, uh, made back in the 1700s, and that where you touch the bronze and it rub away a little bit, there's just this beautiful brownish. Tina, uh, but everything else is just pure black. Yeah, a lot of old pieces where people touch it a lot, you know? Yeah. There's you know, a patina, you know, like a porn, like a old. railing on a, a banister. Yeah. They've got old, like in the Gettysburg battlefield, there's a there's a relief bust of a guy, and, and the soldiers from the day was put up, you know, a few years after the they war. They kind of stroke his beard or something. good luck to touch his nose. He was Irish. And, yeah. So you see his picture, it's all, it kind of looks like this, except the nose, it, he looks like Rudolph, it's glowing gold, but he couldn't make it more gold. He spilled the oil on people's hands for whatever, you know, 100, 50 years. Uh, yeah. 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 Say so leave, leave the hair. Leave the hair out of that color that you're doing right now. Do everything, do everything but the hair. Yeah. You mean the mane? Yeah. So the horse's tail, that's good, but my hair, just leave it. Leave it the way it is. And again, I can, if I darken this, um, you can still have some of this barrack on the mane and it'll still look light when I darken it. Yeah. Just something to think about. Unless 
if you I'm want just, it to stay like this. Yeah, I do. Kind of a break from uh, the coloring of the bronze. We're here at the uh, part of the foundry where they pour bronze, and that's the uh, crucible, or the furnace over there, and they're melting the bronze in. Now they're going to take the uh, molds that have been heated up to 1400 degrees. Well, that's a great way to do it, guys, instead of sticking your arms in there. Oh, this is wonderful. So now what they do is they just uh, take them over and put them in the uh, rack. Wow. Let's stand right here. Are we okay here? Yeah. They're putting it in uh, with asbestos on some of those bigger ones and then they hang uh, the smaller ones on the rack. Boy, you can feel that heat. When they get ready to pour Whitney, we'll come back over here. Back over here. That's just over 2,000 degrees right there. Let's skim it off. 2150. Hi, Matt. 2150. Holy mother. 2150, wow. 2,150 degrees. All right, now they start pouring. Now this goes back thousands of years what they're doing right here. Yeah, kind of. Not the same materials exactly, but uh, the same way. Yeah. Look at how that puppy glows. And look at that. And boy, let me tell you, that's hot. No kidding. You can feel it. I can feel it five feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even think about it. I got my car keys, but I'm not now giving Now see, they put, <laughs> they put bronze ingots back into the uh, crucible, and now they're going to melt that down. How cool. cool. What'd you put in there? Three uh, ingots. Oh, cardboard. No, in the, in the bottom that burned. That's cardboard. Oh, cardboard, okay. Why do you put cardboard there? Uh, cardboard creates carbon when burned. So when it creates carbon, it... Uh, the crucible is made out of silica sand, so that stuff at a really high temperature. It's like a little layer. It'll start sticking, yeah, because it's silica sand uh, layered on uh, clay, I believe, what it is, and that silica sand will slough off over time. Yeah, I was going to ask you what the crucible is made out of. Physically. Yeah, it's a silica sand on the outside and the inside. So of it the can clay. stand many thousands of degrees higher than. Nothing else to do. Bring your wife along. Bring the whole family. We love it. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. There's plenty of place for kids to run around. I mean, his house is on MTV. Oh, really? Yeah, my daughter. On uh, Extreme Cribs. Your house got our cribs, huh? Extreme Cribs, yes, sir. Did you talk? Did you have a stripper pole in your bedroom like all the rappers have? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> all the other guys that get on uh, cribs, the they're like, this is what I'm a. <coughs> the strippers all live in town. <laughs> So now uh, what he's doing is putting the final coat of wax on it. And it really changes the look of the metal. I mean, uh, the, the rich browns start coming through and, and all that. And uh, 
that's the finish, and then it'll cool off, it'll get dull, and then we can just polish it back up again with a nice soft nice cloth. Yeah. All right, that's going to be it today uh, here at the uh, foundry. That's uh, Sagittarius, and that's Whitney, who got to witness Cheers. the whole thing. And uh, what a, it was a great project, Whitney. Excellent. Did I get something? And thank you, Isaac. No problem. You're an artist yourself. All right, uh, see you tomorrow.